Hello, this is Robert Carter, Sandy District Technology Coach, coming back to you with my last video on Google Docs. In this one, I'm just going to go over real quick um, spelling checks and some of the tools that are available to you, um, or more specifically, your students. So, um, using an old um, an old piece of student work that I made some quick changes to uh, to illustrate. But nevertheless, let's go into tools. We're going to spelling. Now, you could do two things here. So let's just say I want the whole document. Don't highlight anything. But if I only wanted a spell check on certain things, like this one right here, okay, I have the ability to just do the spell check on whatever I highlighted. So highlight, hit spelling, and do my spell check. So in this case, we've got on his sky island that's changed. We can change that. If, if there's just one, we could change. But if there's multiples we could change every iteration of that mistake. Um, ignore if we chose, um, add to dictionary if it's a word that is coming up in error. In this case, let's hit, just hit change. And we have artificial. Again, there was only one found in this area, so we're just gonna change that by itself. And that's all it checked. So let's just say I revert those back and I want you to see the differences here. Let's make a couple in here. So now let's see tools, spelling, spell check. Now as you see it's picking up er other areas as well too. So if you want to spell check part of a document you can. Um, if you want to spell check a whole document you simply don't highlight anything. Um, in this case let's go back through and make our changes. Tools, spell check, I change hidden, bedroom, sky island, artificial, and afraid, and put. Otherwise, we are good to go. Um, students also have uh, other options in here where they can review suggested edits. This is where if you put comments in via like Google Classroom. Um, dictionary is in, in here. Um, if you choose to pull it up so that you can have that as an option as well are some of the more key pieces in here. Um, some students have the availability to use voice typing depending on your classroom setting. Um, that simply you turn on and you click to speak. So if I wanted to start by saying, nice job, I really enjoyed your story, period. That's also an option in the tools. So. Uh, my hope was to keep this video uh, super quick. Um, I wanted to highlight mostly the spelling um, check that's built into Google Docs. Um, um, also, looking at things like voice chat, uh, word, or excuse me, voice typing, dictionary, word count, or some of the other things that are popular tools that are built into the code .org, or excuse me, the uh, Google Docs um, platform. So, if you have any further questions, please let me know. Otherwise, have a great day.